Why did you choose loss and grief? Because, you know, in counseling, there's a lot of uh, departments. That we have marriage counseling. We have family therapy. We have we a have lot. Uh, corporate counseling. We have a lot. So why loss and grief? Bec you know, I was married in le uh, early 2012. Mm -hmm. And uh, within that early 2012, mm -hmm. I had three, my first three losses, that is miscarriage. Oh, you had miscarriages? Yeah. In, uh, in one year you had three miscarriages? Yeah. Mm. Then Alhamdulillah was blessed with a son. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, unfortunately, mm -hmm. uh, divorced with the first husband. Mm -hmm. uh, raised my son mm -hmm. as a single mom. It was challenging, so I, I could say even that made me do more of counseling. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I, uh, in 2016, early 2016, again, alhamdulillah, I was blessed, mm -hmm. got married again, mm -hmm. got another kid. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 unfortunately, or let's say, alhamdulillah, I got uh, into. I had this uh, condition they called what eclampsia. Mm -hmm. It was really taking me so far. Mm -hmm. So at 28 weeks, mm -hmm. uh, I, the pressures went beyond normal. I was at uh, 262 by 110. Mm -hmm. that's really so that's with, that was extremely high. Uh, most of my organs were already not working. Mm -hmm. So I was in KNH. Mm -hmm. uh, the only organ which was working actually was my heart. Mm -hmm. And it was working on a very exciting manner. So it was, mm -hmm. and the doctors were scared. If it just got tired mm -hmm. and stops, then both me and the baby, we are gone. So they opt for an emergency CS, had a baby girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she survived for exactly 12 hours. Mm -hmm. That is in 2016, September 8th, mm -hmm. at uh, 12 noon. That's when I had the girl. She survived up to 12 noon on the 9th. Yeah. yeah. And Alhamdulillah, went to be with Allah. Mm. Yeah, or as we say it, she grew her wings. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I nursed the CS wound, Alhamdulillah. I was getting on well, mm -hmm. though with the BPC and there, but within a month, I was good. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, boom, 2016, exactly four months after that, mm -hmm. a depot failed me, mm -hmm. and I found myself pregnant again. Mm -hmm. I just say, Alhamdulillah, mm -hmm. Allah wanted it. Mm -hmm. So. Everyone was scared, no, you know, with their health, with everything, you can, that is 2017, I said, no. Mm -hmm. If Allah wanted me to have this baby, I'm not going to do anything about it. And you see, at that time, I'm already, uh, so I'm expecting and I'm fighting grief at mm -hmm. the same time. Uh, by the time I was already six months, I was getting better. So we never forget. You know, people normally say, like, uh, Islam, you are not supposed to be holding on on that. But uh, as far as uh, for the research I've done, mm -hmm. you can't do that. We are human. Okay. And uh, Allah gives you every kid for a purpose. Okay. He gave me that kid. Mm -hmm. He knew that that kid would change me okay. from... In one or the other, so there there was no way I could let go. I just told them, I know I should not mourn. Mm -hmm. So uh, all of them used to say, like Alhamdulillah, mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah. You know when you sit and tell yourself there is kadar, kadar Allah. So in fact, that is what kept me moving. Mashallah. I would cry myself and just ask myself, why me, how me, you know, and then. At the end of the day, I would say, Alhamdulillah, Allah knew. Allah Why? knows best. It is Qadar, mm -hmm. maybe if, because my baby was really sick, mm -hmm. breathing complications and all that. In fact, even the sisters, they were telling me, 
mom, we are trying to save that baby. And I know they, were, they really tried until I told one sister, do your best. But whatever happens, know that there is God. He decides what happens. And she was like, you know, you are like, I told them I'm fine. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, when uh, they brought the news of the loss, everyone was like, everyone broke down apart from me. Mashallah. I was broken, but at the end of the day, I just said, Alhamdulillah.